and welcome to Sarah Stamping with you. Today I'm going to be layering up cover dies to create a cool different background and to give another use for using our dies. So I'm going to use this Fine Frames cover die from Altenew, the Rattan Stripes die, and then to decorate it I'm going to use this Himalayan Blue Poppy layering die set. So we're going to use a whole heap of die cuts today and create a nice interesting effect. So I've used this Spellbinders Alabaster cardstock for the background and this is the fine frames die. You can see I've not quite cut through it so essentially normally I put this through my machine twice and I only ran it through once so that it kind of semi cut it but because I want to use all of the frames together it's actually easier to use while it's still together. I didn't want to just emboss it because I want this piece cut out of the middle. I wanted the edges cut as well. So then I'm going to turn that over and I'm going to add some double sided sticky tape to it. Outside frame's coming off so this piece of sticky tape I'm going to stick all the way along this side to make sure that, that outside frame stays in place as well. Then I'm going to lay this across the back here so that we kind of get this stripey effect behind. So this is obviously that rattan stripes die. And then I'm going to add another layer of tape. And then let's just use my scissors to trim those edges. I think actually that's really cute as it is, but I'm going to add on the other layer. So again, it's cut in alabaster cardstock using the rattan stripes die. And then I'm just going to place it the other way over. And then once again, I'm going to trim it. And so now just by layering some dies that were never supposed to be layering dies i've got this cool background effect so then with this i've cut just this one of the poppies i haven't used this one behind and the leaves and scraps of cardstock i'm going to give them a little bend because i always like to do that with flowers before i um pop them together just to give them a little bit more movement Then with these flowers, they're really easy to put together because there's like an arrow in the middle. So I can just pop a bit of glue around the arrow and then I can line this up over the arrow. And then I know it's in the right place. And then this piece just has that bit of the arrow on it so I can line that up there. And these dies are so good, they even have like little tiny numbers on the lower layers obviously they don't put that on the centers because then you'd be able to see them but for those lower layers they put them on so that it's really easy to layer them up then i've got a bit of gold for this middle bit i'm just going to pop that around there and then i've just got a yellow bit to go in the middle and that will cover that arrow as well so you won't see that in there so there's our flower and i've got these leaves cut out as well and I've got a four and a quarter by five and a half inch Flirty Flamingo card blank, that's stamping up cardstock. And I'm going to pop this up on foam tape. And obviously if you're sending it in the post you might want to just glue it on. But I just want extra dimension on this one. So I'm going to line that up on my card front. So I'm going to use fine pads to add the flower and the leaves onto my card. So with the leaves, I'm actually going to add a bit of glue at each end and like half a foam pad in the middle, just to kind of keep that kind of domed shape to it. So then I've cut this in gold and yellow, the same colours I used for the centre of the flower. And I'm just going to stack those on top of each other. And I'll just offset them slightly. Now we've got this lovely card that's got all that 
dimension and layering in the background without using dyes that were specifically for layering. So you can have a look through what you've got in your stash and see what you can create with layering them up. So I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, I'd appreciate you clicking like below and you can also press subscribe if you'd like to see future videos. If you press the bell button and select all, YouTube will also notify you when I've got a new video available. All of the products that I've used for today's video are listed in the description below and there's also a link there to my blog where you can find a picture supply list if that helps you find what you're looking for. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope to see you again soon.